Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, yesterday I was doing some financial data analysis and I was thinking that is there any specific library in Python that is probably created as an open source so that I can use that particular library and do a lot of financial data analysis. So I started searching in the internet regarding that and I came to this amazing GitHub profile or link you can say and probably the user over here is Vinta, I guess Vinta, I tried to search him through LinkedIn, probably I did not get his entire information, but he is actually from Tapai or Taiwan. So what this person, this amazing person has done is that he has created this amazing thing which is called as a curated list of awesome Python frameworks, libraries, software and resources. Now this is very much amazing guys. I'll tell you why. Uh, because anything that you want to do with considering Python as a programming language. Suppose if you want to go and find out how many number of frameworks are there, probably you want to try to find out if you want any e-commerce libraries to use, or probably you want to do any kind of financial data analysis, everything you will be able to find out over here. Let's take some of the examples, okay? So I was just going through this GitHub and definitely this will be helpful for all of you. Make sure that you, you keep a markup, bookmark it, you know, it will be very, very helpful, guys. Just see this. Okay, now I was just going through this and probably uh, I was also checking for financial data analysis and also for multi-threading multi and multi-processing uh, things with the help of Python. At that time, I came to this particular link and here you have everything. Let it be, suppose if I take this particular example as cryptography. Cryptographic algorithms are basically used in blockchain you know so you have SHA-256 uh, you have SHA-512 you have different different crypt cryptographic algorithm so if you really want to go into this probably you can go over here check out how cryptographic uh, will actually work you know this is just an example of cryptography over here SHA-256 is not given SHA-256 is probably given in in the further uh, if you go further down suppose I was also trying to check out okay what are the data analysis technique probably it has with respect to some specific library then here you can see that a lot of data and analytics and analysis libraries are also there like pandas on aws numpy and pandas interfaces to big data like blaze open mining optimus you know orange panda so all these things were there right now suppose if i want to check out optimus probably this is a library i have never used and probably if i want to use it along with spark i can definitely use it right you can also open this in uh, collab and probably try to work through it you know work through it and uh, right now i'll not just authorize with the github uh, probably later on I'll do it but just understand that you just want to see this documentation these all are open source that are available by some of the other developers but this person has actually mixed everything in one github so whatever you want to search you can actually search for here now let us take one some more example suppose if I search for e-commerce okay so I want to search for e-commerce let's see whether I have some e-commerce or let me just search for some financial data so financial data interface now suppose if i see over here okay this interface data there is something like forex python you know suppose i want to check bitcoin price and right now bitcoin is in trend right because of obviously because the price is quite high you can also use this particular library and do a lot of things you have open source e-commerce framework for Django. like you can directly use this Django oscar to create a basic open source e-commerce framework right you have editor plugins you have so many things i think Anytime, if you have any confusion with respect to creating or in respect to understanding like what libraries are basically used for a specific task, you can definitely go and have a look over here instead of searching in the internet. Because searching in the internet also you'll be getting a lot of uh, searches over there where you'll not be able to understand which is perfect or which is better for a specific work, right? So here you can see uh, GUI development, you can see PyQt, Tkinter, GraphQL, right? So libraries for working with GraphQL. If you want to do a game development, you have those kind of libraries. If you want to do something like geolocation, work with geolocation, you have GeoIP, GeoJSON, GeoPy, so many things are there. Suppose HTML manipulation you want to do, Beautiful Sloop, Soup is there, obviously I've worked with this. I've worked with HTML5, Lib, LXML, Markup Safe, but I have not seen these all things. Probably this will be an amazing opportunity for me to at least try it out, you know, and try to see that which is better. But yes, here we have a lot of options. Even libraries for programming with hardware is also there. See, you can basically create events and keyboard, mouse, do a lot of things. Now let, let's do one thing, you know. I, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to open this, okay. And probably I'll go over here, okay. Let me just uh, try to do something, you know. Probably uh, 
uh, you are pretty much familiar with the financial data right and right now bitcoin is pretty much amazing it is like the price is going high uh, so let's uh, see the current price of the bitcoin and probably it will actually help you to find out what all things are there with respect to bitcoin and all so what i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to search for that particular library so let me just search it uh, bitcoin probably you will not be able to see and the library that is used is forex python forex dash python so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to open the anaconda prompt i'll try to show you th this library and try to work with it and try to see that how good this library is and how simple it is you just have to install do do pip install and try to use it so let's see okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, activate my environment probably i'm going to install this particular library over here so i'll do pip install so this is the library which is uh, basically considered as uh, you'll be able to find out the bitcoin prices you'll be able to see currencies uh, you know the valuation of the currency suppose if you want to find out the uh, difference between indian and usd currency what is the exchange rate right now you'll also be able to find that information so suppose i will use this library which is called as forex python okay so this is my forex python i'll just install it now here you can see that requirement is already satisfied so i have already opened a jupyter notebook over here so let's uh, start coding so in order to code it uh, what i'll do is that i'll just uh, import this library from forex uh, python i'm going to import uh, sorry from forex python dot converter i'm going to import currency rates okay so this is currency codes is also the currency rates is also there so after this what i'm going to do is that i'm going to say currency underscore rate i'm just going to initialize this i'm just giving you one example guys see how handy it will be you know probably if i want to do some kind of analysis with respect to this i'll definitely be able to do it right so if i go and see my currency rate here you can see that it is a forex python converter dot currency rate at this specific memory location now if i write dot get rates okay and if i try to execute it okay i'm, I'm missing one parameter because it requires one parameter suppose i want to find out the currency rate with respect to inr and the other currencies so here you'll be able to see this inr uh, gbp is there hkd is there hkd i think it is for hong kong currency i'm not sure about it but if you see usd is there right so one inr is equal to this much usd suppose you want to check with respect to usd because many people uses this as a standard now if you go and see my inr probably you will be able to see over here where is inr somewhere around 73 rupees right so one usd is equal to 73 uh, rupees right so if i go and search in google one usd to inr so it is somewhere around 72.84 right now it is showing 73.04 so again some difference will definitely be there i don't know whether it is currently taking it or after one day it usually gets updated you know not only this uh, suppose uh, i want to quickly uh, suppose I'll, I'll write currency rate dot get underscore rate suppose i'll use get underscore rate and i probably want to uh, get only the usd or uh, usd to inr suppose okay i'm basically checking that particular uh, github link guys you, you can see this uh, i've got this github link from where from that particular website that i had actually shown you and there i just searched for something like this and uh, let me just show you from where did i get that you know you'll be you'll be shocked to see this so i here you can see that i've just searched for um this bitcoins and i have seen forex python you know so here it is foreign exchange rate bitcoin price index and currency conversion you can you can find a lot of things right let it be multi-threading multi-processing now let's let me do like this and execute it here you can see that 73.04 is there apart from this suppose if you really want to use uh bitcoin uh based on like uh suppose you want to find out that uh what is the price of one bitcoin uh, then that that also you can basically do with respect to USD. So suppose if I write from Forex Python dot Bitcoin, I'm going to import BTC converter, and here I will write B is equal to BTC converter, and uh, probably after this I'll write B dot get latest price of with respect to USD. Okay. So if I execute it, you can see that this is the price, I guess, 37,744. Is it so costly? Okay, let's see. One Bitcoin to USD. Yeah, it is 37,733. 
so it is somewhere around that itself uh, hardly ten dollars difference i can see but yes you can definitely use this uh, to find out all this particular information probably if you also want to get the symbols of usd and all so i can also write something like this so suppose i'll make uh, uh, i already have a currency rate dot uh, probably i have something called as uh, okay sorry for before that what i'll do is that i'll try to forex underscore python and i'm going to import import the currency codes i had two libraries one is currency codes and one is currency rates let me import currency codes and here i'll write c is equal to currency codes let me just write it as like this codes is equal to this one and suppose i want to find out what is the code of a specific currency probably i can write it like this code dot uh code dot get get underscore symbol i think this should work i'm not sure let's see okay oh sorry it's codes uh codes oh sorry i did not use this as an object so now if i execute it now you can see rupee symbol is there and then you also have usd it is coming up right so like this uh, you can do a whole lot of thing let me just uh introduce you to one more uh, amazing library that i had actually seen uh, and uh, that will also make fun uh, that will also be a fun over here so if i search for just let me go through that same bitcoin thing i'll search for probably a bitcoin right so here's something you had something called as ak share ak share is nothing a financial data interface so let's try this also probably if i want to try i'll just go to this particular library i will go over here and let's see how to do the installation so in order to do the installation i probably have to just write pip install uh, ak share so let me just see this anaconda prompt again i'll try to do it in the same environment activate my env okay and what i'm going to do is that quickly uh, i'm going to write pip install so suppose if you really want to play with the financial data i'll show you over here i'll write ak share ak share is the library that is basically getting used so you can see collecting ak share downloading right so internet is super fast today yeah amazing so here you can see that okay it's working fine now after this uh, let's see how to just import it and probably see this particular code now see this guys this is the code from import ak share as ak if i want to get the stock us daily uh, uh like this and i'm just using the amazon share you know get us stock amazon price info and apart from this if i go and see my hist df right so this is how it is basically done you just have to right ak dot stock uh, underscore us us basically means us stocks amazon price right so here you have the entire value and can get this particular data frame i don't know what all options are there still i have to check it out ak dot uh, get bond dc value future dailies a lot of options are there right get 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 us stock name i don't know whether there is anything for india or probably i'll just have a look onto that uh but yes you have something like uh bond bank also i'm not sure what uh, i probably think this will give you as an error but it is completely in an open source right so here you have with respect to the bond bank i cannot understand chinese i think it's chinese or japanese i'm i'm not sure D definitely it is chinese i guess so here you can see that by just providing the symbol over here you are able to get the entire financial data and yes, apart from this also you have other libraries which gives you this kind of data but again as we say that open source uh, is an open source you actually get a lot of things with respect to this uh, let me just uh, copy one more line of code you know and uh, let's see what this code will actually do okay sorry for this i just copied the entire thing okay there is something some other libraries that is used i think uh, this will suffice it but just understand the main thing is that what i'm trying to say all your libraries are at this particular place you know and they are somewhere around 93000 stars so just imagine people using this you know uh, if i take an example of debugging tools you know so they are also a lot of debugging tools like pdb i've used pdb i've used tracing i've used profiler you know line by line profiling i probably will make also video on profiling you know so this looks good you know for doing lot of debugging stuffs so yeah, anyhow you can just check it out 
it's amazing you know because here you have all the things available so i hope you like this particular uh, video so here you can also see deep learning things right so i hope you like this particular video uh, please do subscribe the channel and yes just try to have a look on to this and thank you again this entire video is dedicated to this particular person that is winter uh, i'm not sure who this is winter chen okay i'll try to contact him through linkedin and obviously again as said the entire dedication things for this particular video goes to him he's done an amazing work providing this as an open source so thank you one and all see you in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye